Hello everyone, welcome back to Alchus Plays Minecraft Vault Hunter Sky Vault World Sky Vault World Sky. Hello, I am here again. We are picking up exactly where we left off. We're going to make another. What's the name? We only need this, which is tough. <gasps> Did I use up all my tough in the Never? Might have to go and get it. Anyway, we'll use that. We'll turn that into an elixir vault, and we'll jump straight in. How about that? Let's not mess about. I found my fried egg hat. It's right here in this golden chest that I put next to the nether portal for things that I might want to wear in the nether. Let's take it out. This is actually a really good helmet compared to the one that I've currently got on, which is my going into the raw vaults helmet, don't forget. So it's not amazing, but it's so good. I'm going to keep hold of it for when something inevitably breaks and I forget that I was doing things. So we needed to do an elixir vault, so we simply put this on here, on here, like this. Simply put this in here and here like this. Why do they keep breaking? They're so weak. I think that's probably the easiest prep for a vault that I've done so far. Just get everything out of the shulker box and go in. Oh, it's an elixir vault. That's lucky. Chunky mobs trapped, but bonus ornate. So we've seen all of these before. <laughs> Having two curses on it is a bit rude. But, you know what we do. Do everything, because it's an elixir vault. We gather all the stuff that we could possibly find, because we're trying to get levels and knowledge. I think... Let's just check. Did it again. Press K. Um, we should still have this on living chests. So, I'm going to just keep that like that. First of all, I keep forgetting about it, so I might as well just live with it. And secondly, it's handy. Because I am looking for... Things are done. Ow! Baby! Look, I've put... I've, I've paid for this. I've done my punishment. I'm taking them. Come on. <laughs> Plus, we should really just do everything as mentioned, because... Ah! Did you see that bit of catalyst fragment? It's also showing up on the left there, on the right there, so you can tell that it has happened. Yeah, we got a bit of catalyst fragment just now. Which is... Something the quest book would tell us would happen. So I'm glad that it did. Otherwise we'd be in a universe where things just don't add up. And nothing is right. Start collecting those and start progressing with the quest to actually make use of them. Our elixir is low. Do you see that? We've done half of the room. Normally in the first room. Huge amount of elixir. But we've done everything. And it's not been cheap on the POIs either. It's just been cheap on Elixir. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm complaining. Even with 10% extra health, we're pretty strong. Even with the mobs having 10% extra health. Even with these terrible upstairses. Oh! <laughs> oh you. I'm too MLG to let that sort of thing get me down. The first room, <clears throat> basically half of an elixir. Ooh, half an elixir. Uh, it's not as good as previous ones. Because I don't think you get elixir from a trapped chest, so it's a slight disadvantage, I suppose. Ooh. Second room, epic room. Look about this, by the way. Dreamstone? Never seen that. What is that? Also, where are these dudes? Downstairs? Where is it downstairs? Why are you again with the thing? Don't know. Weird. What's happening? <coughs> Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Enough of that. Ah, uh, it's not. I didn't order this. <clears throat> Where are you coming from? Ah! What? On top? Aha! You know, I had no idea you could get on top of this. <laughs> Bang. Oh. Run away. 
Cowabunga, dude. I was say, there's gotta be something in here. I've never seen this before. This is awesome. Some sort of blinking gravel? <laughs> Nothing at all in the gravel. Naturally. Why would there be gravel? Why would the gravel one contain anything? It's just silly. I can't believe we haven't actually finished the room. The, the vault in this room. <clears throat> Apparently, baddies and chests are not the way to finish an elixir vault today. Also, we have to find a lodestone. Don't forget that bit. Ah, what do you want? XP. That's the other one. XP. Uh, Tristan, our famous single commenter, has pointed out that... Ooh. Lodestone. The time... Uh, god is now a mana god, which is why we haven't given away any time, we still have all four things. It's really difficult to look up information about Vault Hunters, because this is the third version, but information is just, here's information about Vault Hunters. So it will tell you not only things about Vault Hunters 2, not much about Vault Hunters 1, but that's fine, um, but also things about previous versions of Vault Hunters 3 before they rebalance everything. So I don't know if Vendar was... <clears throat> always mana in Vault Hunters 3 and only time in Vault Hunters 2 and 1. Or has changed during Vault Hunters 3. <laughs> anyway, we're not giving away time to the gods anymore, which is probably for the best. We do need to consume a lodestone, and then there is one right here. So what we should do is mark this somehow. And now we greed. I think I'm not going to worry about my time. I don't want to cut it too fine. We've got a lot done. I'm just going to head back nice and leisurely style with a minute and a half to go and only two runes to traverse. And then we'll see what's next. We'll have a look at our potato farm. Let's see, it's still potato. I'm tempted. To, what I might do is take the farmer that is putting down the potatoes, replace, just replace him with a fresh villager who isn't a farmer yet. Swap them over, basically. And we're going to have, hopefully, one more level. Yeah. Whatever we get from the vault in loot, we're going to have our bounty, which we can claim. All those bennies. We're going to have mining for some unknown gear and a whole bunch of chromatic... Pay night for chromatic steel seems pesky. Scavenger hunt for a black opal seems possible. Let's see what the price is of a scavenger hunt. Uh, vault meat block. Ah, it's just the sm Yeah, it's not the steak, right? That's right. So, nine pieces of the that stuff. Ah, okay. So, we could do that. Seems doable. Sure, why not? And we've won an expertise point by getting to level. Uh, hello? Why are you following? 25. We'll think about that. I just want you all to know that I've been talking to you for the past like five, six minutes. Uh, and I hadn't unmuted my mic. So I've recorded a lot of stuff and you don't know what I was saying. Let me recap. We've made the Vault Catalyst, but you need one more in order to use the Vault Catalyst because the use of the Vault Catalyst is in a Catalyst Infusion table, which requires a Catalyst Fragment Nine of which made that catalyst itself uh, in the recipe. So, we've got this. We learned what these are for, the dreamstones that we found in the last vault. They come about also at level 24 because they're part of the recipe for this. They're also used to re-roll two catalysts into a new catalyst because if you get catalysts that you don't like, you can just dump them, get rid of them. We have to actually apply it to the table in order to you know, complete this thing. What's our current... We're doing a scavenger hunt. So we need to do a scavenger hunt for the bounty. But I've got in my inventory a seal of the confection to do a cake hunt. Because I thought, do you know what? We haven't done one yet, so let's do one. Then I ran over here. Tried to get some iron. Didn't have my elytra on. And died. So this is kind of cool. <laughs> so we can probably... Maybe we should... Um... Hold on. I haven't made this easy for myself, have I? 
keep saying that I'll do something about this, but I haven't done anything about this, so I guess I'm a liar. A charlatan, a cat, a cur, a bounder. Right. Oh, and the other thing I did, which I was talking to you about, I've done it again, but um, apparently <laughs> you got none of it, was I deliberated a whole bunch on what we should spend our expertise point on, which I chose to be the infuser. The reason for that is, of course, we are now using catalysts, or are about to, and everything else just seems a little bit weak compared to it. We haven't got too much of a benefit from Lucky Altar, and we haven't really struggled to make the crystals. Um, again, experience at level one with 500% more experience. It's going to be a long time, I think, before that even becomes a, a factor in our play. Everything else just doesn't seem to make much difference. And then we have three unspent skill points. I thought rather than upgrading one of these, although I could upgrade Dash, um, and I thought I could also upgrade one of our base stats, and I thought it was cool. I noted these. Um, we have some skills now that are... There's no level requirements on these ones. So these have always been there, I just didn't notice. Uh, these synergize with some of the other skills, like this slowed mob, for example, when we were using Frost Nova to slow enemies down. This would synergize with that. I'm not using that anymore because I've got a Javelin now, which is great. Um... This would synergize with it, and there's one here that looks like it would just cause Frost Nova again, so it would just chain, but it's only a 5% chance, so it's not like it's uh, OP. Even at 20% chance, it doesn't seem OP. Um, oh, you can scroll. Um, but I chose to go with one more level in haste, because this is now maxed out completely, that costs two, and then one level in this ethereal one, because I have been complaining that my javelin seems to basically burn through my mana, because it's the first thing I do. I run into a fight, shoot something with a javelin, hit everything else, and then go, oh, I haven't got any mana left for my health, because then I, you know, heal up at the end of it, and <laughs> run out of mana, because it doesn't really just be charged fast enough. So, uh, I've put a level in this, just to get a 50% chance to not use any mana for that. But some of these are really cool, and we can spend these somewhat more willy-nilly than these expertise ones, because we get them every level, instead of every five levels. Um, so that's what you missed, because I was not paying attention, and forgot to unmute my microphone. And now I'm just tidying up my inventory. So we can go into the vault. No longer will I be finding anvils in vaults begging for scraps. Please, sir, may I have some more? More? I now can make my own anvils until the cows come home. So uh, I've been picking up the... Heat. Suspense. I've been picking up the old... Uh... We touched the layout. That's cool. I've been picking up the cake vaults. So I thought, why don't we just do one and see what happens? I don't mean do one like get lost, you know. S screw yourself. Is that the colour of the crystal just now? That's really cool. And I don't think there's anything else we need to mess about with. We can just go in, can't we? Is everything ready? It's my magnet on. So let's jump in and I'll, I'll show you how this works. Right, okay, first of all, what is this veneer around our heads? I feel like the world is closing in on us. Uh, what's this? There's a cake, and we can't get through. Oh, I better eat the cake. Eat the, eat the cake. I just found a cake, and I did two anger. Hang on. <laughs> two delicious, more item quantity, heavy, more mob health, more mob damage. So as you go through, it will... You find a cake, it generates the next... Hello. Uh, room. Add some modifiers, which can cancel each other out, by the way. And then in this next room, your job is to find the next cake. Which probably means it would have been sensible to uh, unlearn uh, <laughs> the, the living chests hunter and maybe turn it into a... I think if you put the, the objective hunter on, it will tell you where the cake is. Possibly, maybe. Um, and if you're running out of time and can't find the cake, you have to leave. You can't just do the north to south thing, right? We don't know which direction we're going. In fact, it specifically said it's a spiral vault. When we, uh, when we came in, right? Of course, the, the better you are at traversing the terrain, the more likely you are to find your cakes. More and more quickly. So... Uh, also, the, the world is closing in on us. Oh, it's telling you how close you are to the cake. I got you. There's a little radar. I didn't know about this, and now I understand it. 
I only figured it out because I was thinking I wish there were a thing that told you how close you are to the cave. I think it might be doing so. There you are. Get it. I did win. Too anger, too delicious, too heavy. Isn't that what we just had? <laughs> this is going to be slower than the usual vault, I guess. Right, now we're going this way. That, that's the spiral vault for you. So as we as we get, you know, cake vision, and our thoughts turn to nothing but confectionery, and our, our vision swims with the delight of potential sugar rush. Look, we're already very close to it. Right there. Look. Yeah, let's just do it. What could go wrong? Too anger, too delicious, too sweet, and too heavy. Item rarity. So the, this is getting very hard. And at some point, you might want to sort of give up and <laughs> not bother with it. Because it's going to be too difficult to actually achieve. Still not impossible, but I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> That's what worries me here. Ah! Where did you come from? Just stop. This is what I call a uh, lava. <laughs> Well, that, just to avoid losing all the stuff. Huh? Ow. That didn't hurt too much. I'm not sure if that was a weak enemy, or if it's just not got to the point yet where it's uh, particularly difficult. We just started off with a bit of a debuff, debuff to give us the uh, leeway to actually do some runes before the game got impossible. There's a very good chance that we die here, just because I'm, I might over-egg the pudding and take too many cakes and make it so difficult to... That I, I don't die. Also, I might forget how far it is to get out. What, what manner of room is this? No baddies, just treasure. Oh, you do have to find the cake as well, don't forget. <laughs> it's not just a treasure room. Which is presumably in the sand. Hang on. Really? Oh, there it is. Let's take it and see where we end up. Anger, sweet and heavy. It seems like we only get anger and heavy. Maybe other um, modifiers unlock. I don't like this full of wooden chests. It gives me the impression that's all we're going to get. That could have been an awesome room, but it was just full of wooden chests. <laughs> Some of which now are full of yellow sand. So, be bothered by it. Again, maybe you should do the room a little bit and see if there's anything good in it before you take the cake, because... Well, the baddies will get stronger. Okay. You might as well explore a bit first. What is happening here? This is just a POI of wood. <laughs> Why? Why? No, nothing good. Nothing good. Give me good. Ooh. I do not have a good idea in my head. I don't have a, a sort of a default impression of how long it's going to take me to get out. So I think we should err on the side of caution to save that. My celly might be useful to us, actually. We should definitely try and keep some. I think I'm comfortable that we've got enough time to do one more room. Put what happens in this room. <laughs> but it seems likely. was a little bit hoping for maybe a few more beneficial modifiers than none. Okay, we got a couple. I'm not, like, outstanding. Two and... Yeah, it's all the same ones, right? So maybe there just aren't that many modifiers that we could be rolling at this level. Which may be good, maybe bad, I don't know. Because I don't know if there's a lot of good ones we're missing out on, but also there's probably a lot of bad ones we're not being encumbered with. So it balances because it's a game and it's built to balance. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but it sounded good. Ah! 
was a prop of copiously. Remember we put copiously on this and I was like, what does this mean? Uh, from that, I believe I have just been granted extra. I just realized I'm a cake sniffer. Oh. So the uh, baddies are getting tougher and the rewards are getting greater. That's what we like to hear. We've only got five minutes though, so I don't know if this room is going to be more than just a quick glance. I don't know if we always get this um, theme as well when you do a cake vault. Is this the cake theme? It's about time we head back. Um, we've got quite a long way to walk. It's been a good vault. Seven. We've got seven. Cakes sorted. Stop hitting me, please. <laughs> it's starting to get quite damaging. See you later, Kate. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for all the fish. Yeah, that was a painful room. I think if we did another room, it would hurt a lot, and we might not even make it out in the first place. So let's be gone. Why? Right, there you go. That is a cake vault. You get a whole bunch of XP. Not very many chests looted. Not many. Not much done. But it was fun, right? Finding the cake is uh, is part of it. I don't know if you can complete that vault. I don't know if there's a goal to it. So, uh, you know, here we are. Oh, by the way, look at this jewel that I got. Where'd it? Where'd it? Where'd it go? Look at this. 24 size, flawless jewel, wooden coin, and copiously. On 24 size jewel. That's amazing. What do I use Phoenix dust for? Phoenix feather? For an angel block? This makes a phoenix modifier. I don't know what that means. But that's cool. So we'll make a scavenger vault <clears throat> out of this one. Which we decided was the vault meat block. I knew I had that in my mind for some reason. So we put this in here, this in here, take this. This goes on here. And we go, hey, don't forget to take a new magnet with you. <clears throat> because, well, that's got huge range. We have mana regen on our current magnet. That's terribly. Uh, I was gonna say it's terrible, but it's like the terrible part is that it's gonna break soon. I don't see why we shouldn't take all of our bronze with us <laughs> in our bag because if we took a stack of platinum, for example, we could buy the stuff if we ever find a shop. There's not gonna be much to this except for doing vaults until the vault crystal demands that we do something else. Um, so I think I'll just accept that and keep going. Remember to start recording this time. Oh yeah, scavenger vault. This looks hard, actually. It's our it's our bounty to do this, but this looks hard. We are going south to north. Um, we need to do. Oh, luckily I've got living chests on my thing already because it's necessary for us. Ground hides are in living chests. We need to kill zombies, skeletons. There's a hand in spot in the very last. Hopefully these kind of zombies. Um, very best room. Hey, just, just keep fighting. Oh, I was gonna say, ooh, a cracked script. We don't need that. We do need the blood vial though. So we need to be looking for coins. Oh, coins and um, living chests. That seems pesky. The reason that's pesky is that those are both things that you need to put on your radar. Because they're reasonably rare between them. Or individually. Ooh, more living chests. Are you are you being nice and actually, you know, what what giving us a vault that's likely to contain the stuff that you're asking me to do? I've still got the wrong equipment on. <laughs> I was just wondering, hey, I feel like I can fly. Because I can. Should be able to. Don't remember switching that over, to be fair. Uh, I'm pretty sure I switched it back. Oh, well. Oh, that means... Okay, we're not immune to poison. Told you I'd come a cropper of that. Uh, I didn't notice our modifiers, but look. We've got... Uh, plus 10% catalyst fragments and plus one set of coin stones. That's really good. Strongly suspect we're not uh, in a good position to actually beat this one. It's too much to find 
I'm not quick enough and uh, discoverably stuff enough to actually manage. Still, we'll try. Uh, how are we doing? Four books, I need to drown hide the other one. Here's the other trouble. <laughs> well, we're unlikely to get as much as we need. Uh, blood vials from that. We've got eight of those. Actually, that's a good, very good number of blood vials. We should hand some stuff in if we can. What happens if you hand in stuff who doesn't want? All books are in these chests, so... We should take a... Oh, catalyst fragments are actually in wooden chests. I did not know. Kind of glad there are not baby vault fighters, but don't give them any ideas. And then just living chests, it's going to be really hard to do. None in here, look. Oh. We may have to abandon quest. We've got to get two more drowned hive, which is too many. <laughs> what is this? It's a shop! <laughs> I was just saying. What was I just saying about shops? Man. These are so rare. Give me that. I don't know what it was, but I bought it. Ah. That was no fun. <laughs> Didn't like that. Might have to add long things to the vault timer today. Son of a... Oh, we're nearly home. Look at that. However, I did only have 30 seconds left, so I'm glad I ate the lemon. Oh. It's a real shame to have uh, failed that, to be honest. Because we were very close. <laughs> very close indeed. Well, let's see what's next. Alrighty then, well it turns out what's next is the end of the episode. It's about time to wrap up. We've done some vaults. We've done some vaults and I've done a lot of wood farming. I've created a carrot farm over here. Got one unspent skill point which we'll look at next time. And what I really, really, really want to do right now is just grind. Grind vaults until we can get both of the mods unlocked so that we want to actually play with and then we can start doing some mod based content. I'll also probably turn a lot more of these into 2x2 two two draws because Lots of these things don't need to be in one by one, one by one draws. Ah, sure. But that'll be the next episode. This episode is over. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Hope you will join me next time. Let me know if you want me to do some more different types of content than this because really I'm just going messing things around, doing a vault. Hopefully, when we get to actually having some mods, you know, the content will change. But until then, all I've got is vaults and buildings. So let me know if you want me to sort of shift the balance of that. Until next time, though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you.